Hello everyone, how are you guys doing? Thank you so much for coming. You are welcome to my channel. If you are new on this channel, my name is Henrietta. And in here, I share with you powerful spiritual tips that can break you out of poverty, that can change your situation, that can give you nothing but breakthrough. So please subscribe if you have not and turn on the bell for more videos. Today guys, I'm going to show you a powerful secret to get open doors, to get your prayers answered, to get more customers in your business, to get more patronage. But if you have not subscribed, what are you waiting for? Try to subscribe, to join us and turn on the bell so that whenever I upload powerful videos like this, you will come and watch and your life will change. You will learn something. God will transform your life and your life will never remain the same again. Thank you guys. So if you are a businessman or woman or you render services, whether you work for someone you are being paid or you are a baker, you are a caterer, you sew clothes, you make hair, whatever you do for a living, this is going to help you a lot. As far as you need patronage, you need customers, you need buyers. So if you have a business, have you ever tried praying on your business? Whatever you do, pray on everything you do. Everything you do. Have you ever tried it? You are a business person, you don't pray on your money before you buy goods. You are a business person, you don't pray on your shop in the morning before you start your business. You don't pray on your product. Praying on your shop is different from praying on your product. You pray on your shop, then you pray on your product. You bless your product. Have you ever tried that? When you are going to buy market, to buy goods, products to sell, have you ever prayed on the money before? Bless the money and pray that this money will yield lots of profits. When you buy and sell, you yield and steady. Yes, not that that product will not hold your money down. At times, you are a business person. Some products will hold down your money because if they don't buy, your money will be there. You are even fighting to get out your capital. Talk more of profit. Because you don't pray on these things. Everything that connects you, pray on it. If you are a baker, when you bake, do you pray on your products? You make hair, do you pray on your attachment or whatever you do? Except you don't like that thing. Except you don't like that thing, you want a better job. Then just pray on the money you get and tell God you need a better business or a better thing to be doing. If you make hair, it's not a bad thing. You can become international. There are people, they are called hairstylists. They are millionaires. They have companies. They employ people who will work under them and make people's hair. All of those president's wives, minister's wives, commissioner's wives, people make their hair. And they are not ordinary people on the street. They are professionals, professional hairstylists. You can get there someday. So don't think that thing you are doing is demeaning. It is demeaning because you have not gotten an important client. God will bless you with that important client today in Jesus' name. Just a client can change your life. Just a customer can change your life. One customer can be more than millions of customers. You know why? Because that customer was sent by God. And that customer is called helper. Destiny helpers. They might not really need your product, but God will cause them to bring you lots of good luck. Give you lots of connection. You see one customer bringing lots of friends to you. Bringing lots of business partners. Recommending your products. These are called helpers. And always appreciate them. They are helpers sent from God and not from man. So whatever you do, you need patronage. If you need a good job, always pray on your resort, on your CV. All of those things you are looking for a job with, pray on them regularly. I can't tell you only night, any time of the day, plenty times in the day, any time you are free, at night. And moreover, you have a problem. You sleep from evening to dawn without waking up. You know, I always emphasize midnight prayer. Not that you cannot pray within the day, but if you are serious, if that thing pain you, if you want quick answers to that thing, you will not sleep from night to dawn. 
from night to dawn. You are showing God that that thing is not important to you. You are not serious. You are not serious. If you are really in pain, you will not be able to sleep from night to morning without even taking out one hour or even, what am I even saying? Even 10 minutes to thank God, to pray to God. Because at that time, demons, agents of darkness, they are out. They are in their coven. They are in their places of destruction. That is when the devil, witches and wizards, carry out their evil oppression, midnight, and you are there sleeping. But when you are there awake, praying, it will counter whatever they are doing. It will destroy all their plans. So if you are serious, to show God you are serious, you have to sacrifice your sleep. Even if you take out 30 minutes from that midnight and pray to God, heaven will not break. You will get a quick answer. Sleep will not give you anything. Too much of sleep will not give you anything. You are sleeping. When you wake up, you wake up to your problems, numerous everywhere. Why not wake up and pray out to these problems? Pray for open doors. Destroy any power responsible for those problems. Because at times, you might be experiencing difficulty. There are powers behind it. If you don't believe in spiritual manipulation, you better start believing these things now. They exist. Demons exist. Witches and wizards exist. Diabolical powers exist. They are human beings like you and I who have sold their souls to the devil to get you destroyed. They are human beings like you. They envy you a lot. They go and do juju against you to tie down your destiny. So don't think because they are laughing with you, they are playing with you, they are all your friends. The heart of men is full of evil. So don't trust people so much. Don't complain to them so much. Don't tell them your problem so much. That person you are telling your problem might even be the cause. That friend you always run to when your husband is beating you, when you need money, when you are sick, they might even be the people tying you down so that you will always have a cause to run to them and beg them. There are some people, they always want you to be under them. They always want you to come to them for help so that they can use you and look down on you and send you around and feel like a god where you are. Because they feel that when things become better, you might not worship them or be loyal to them or carry out their instruction or do what they want like you used to. They will tie you down under their feet spiritually. You will not move forward. You will always be stagnant and you will always run to them. They will be happy. As I'm talking to you, the people around you, you don't know what is on their mind. They smile. But beneath their hearts, you don't know what is going on there. So be careful. We sell ourselves to the devil by ourselves. You go and meet somebody complaining to them. You don't know that you are giving them information to hurt you. You are giving them information to hurt you and to destroy you and to tie you down. The only supreme being you should tell your problems to is God and not human being. Not even pastors. Except you trust that pastor, you feel that they are powerful men or women of God. And they don't use diabolical means to perform miracles. And beside that, always pray for your business. Pray for your shop. If you are a tailor, you sell clothes. Pray for your clothes. If you work with your phone online, pray for your phone. Or if you do things that you cannot assess, then the money you get from those things, pray on them. And when you pray, try to have faith. Have faith in what you have prayed for. And God will grant you your heart desires. So begin to pray on everything like that. Everything. Like that, whatever you do, pray before you do it. Pray on your business, pray on your money, the money you are being paid, pray on them, your results, and watch your miracle.